everyone, Stephen here, doing a first impressions video like I usually do. I was going to film this video down the beach, like it'd be for a bike ride. I went to the beach, the plan was to film the video there. The tide was in really high and there were tons of people. So I went for a quick swim instead and I just kind of found this little place where I can rest my phone to shoot. Got the sun setting behind me. Anyway, the duck, Mr. Rich Mitch. When I first saw the name, I thought, has he been a bit big-headed and calling himself Rich? But no, his name's Richard Mitchard, hence the name. He's kindly sent me Eugene's fragrance. I have no idea what the brand is called, but the fragrance is called La Douleur Exquisite. Exquisite. I can't speak French, so fuck that. I know nothing of the brand, nothing of this fragrance. It's going to be a very quick first impressions. And to be honest, it's probably best I didn't do it on the beach because I would have gone in the sea and washed it off. At least now I'll be able to sort of ride and see what it's all about. Smelling it from here, it smells like a bit of an, a rose wood. So yeah, let's uh, squirt it on. There's also a good chance I'm smelling like the sea. I'm probably quite filthy as well. I'm also hoping that the camera is picking me up. Yeah, who knows? Okay, my car. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. It's mm. <laughs> it smells stronger from the atomizer than when I sprayed on my skin. It's quite French. Yeah, like on my skin, it doesn't smell so rosy and oody like it does from the atomizer. It smells quite different. Excuse any uh, cars driving past as well, that hit my head most quickly there. Yeah, it's quite French smelling, yeah. <laughs> Not sure what to say, I can't really discern any notes. As typical for the sprouts. Ah, fuck knows, I'll uh... I'll get back home now in 10, 15 minutes and I'll maybe do a video then. But first I'm going to eat so I'm starving, so... Who knows? <laughs> I might just post it as it is. What a pointless video as standard. So I'll give it, I'll give it another spray. Let it dry down a little bit. I mean, not dry down, just so we'll get rid of any alcohol smell. But yeah, sort of... It smells like... It smells of good quality. There's no, like, jarringness. There's no things that jumping out as being overly... Of spiky or sharp, you know, it's very smooth, it's well blended. Note wise, yeah, I have no idea. Rose, maybe, who knows? Okay, well, uh, um, God, I've seen Amalok, have I? Yeah, this is nice, it's quite. Rather unisex, doesn't lean masculine. It's probably a little bit more feminine than masculine, to be honest. Although, in terms of like the genre, I wouldn't, I don't know, it's not oriental, it's not floral, it's not really. I'm not sure, but I do like it. Probably wouldn't be something that I'd buy personally because this type of thing, the style that it's kind of going for, isn't really my thing. But. Yeah, so congrats Eugene, wherever your brand is called. I have not really interacted with Eugene much, if ever, to be honest. I don't really watch many of his videos. I did see the video he posted like two years ago where he kind of just called out every fucker in the fragrance in, in the Frycom, and he had a lot of backlash for that. And he took the video down, which I thought was a bit shit of him because I quite enjoyed that video, even though it caused controversy and whatnot, but... I found myself agreeing with a lot of things he said. So yeah, and I ride home now. This is a pretty good way to actually test it because I'll be moving through the air. It'll be kind of spreading the fragrance on. In fact, I'll uh, give it a couple of sprays. So I'll get the silage around me. So yeah. Back down. Rah! In a bit. What a noob. I filmed this video in this format, not widescreen. You know, in in wide format. Yeah, further thoughts after my return home. It's got much more resinous. 
To me, the smell sort of similar to Calligraphy or Calligraphy Rose by Aramis, but it's much smoother blended. Both of those fragrances are really spiky and sharp to my nose, which really put me off. This one is much smoother. It's become a lot more resinous. I can't really see which resin it is. It doesn't feel like myrrh. Maybe something like benzoin or labdanum. Literally guessing here. But yeah, this is quite nice. Those are my further thoughts.